I have another haul video for you today. I have a bunch of stuff that came in the mail while I was away. So I want to open it all up and show you what's inside. Okay guys, this is the first package. And for those of you that recognize this, this is a Kiki K uh, A5 size uh, planner. And I purchased this on eBay. And I am really excited about it. It is the gold and I have been wanting this for such a long time. And I am so happy it is finally mine. I love it. This is basically something that I've been wanting for a long time. And it is just gorgeous. I love it. Check out the black with the diamond lining. That is really, really pretty. With the gold coils, the to-do list and the pockets, the zipper pocket. Oh my God, this is so gorgeous. I can't believe it's mine. Really, really happy about this. Here is the back of it with that pattern again. I absolutely love black mixed with gold. So this is just perfect. Most of the original items that came with the planner are in this. So I am really excited. I'm not really concerned about the dividers and the inserts. All of this is gonna be changed out to be personalized to my liking. I'm gonna make my own A5 dividers as well as putting in so much crafty inserts. So really, really excited. I can't wait to use this. Most likely I will use this for Christmas time because I like mixing red, white, and green with gold. Uh, it's beautiful. I really, really love it. The stitching on it is really, really nice. It has a really nice smell. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> so that was my first item. Okay guys, this is the next box and this is an order that I placed from a Cherry on Top, which is a crafting supply store online. Now, as you saw in my last video, I received a burnt orange Filofax original for my birthday from my husband. It's the A5. I'm going to be using that for the fall time, for Halloween, and for Thanksgiving. And then I'm going to be using my gold Kiki K that you guys just saw for Christmas time. So as far as fall and Halloween, I wanted to do something really special inside of the burnt orange. So I ordered some supplies that I thought would help me out. I want to make my own uh, dividers and I want to make um, my own dashboards. So let's open this up and I'll show you guys what I got. Okay guys, this is everything that's in the package. I'm gonna zoom in so we can take a closer look at everything. Okay, the first thing that I ordered is this Ranger Collage Glue Stick. This is my favorite glue stick. I love the fact that it's triangle shaped so you can get into corners really well with this glue stick. So I'm pretty much running out of my current one, so I wanted to order another one. I bought two different collections. I bought something for the fall and Thanksgiving and something for Halloween. So I'm gonna go over the Halloween stuff first. The collection that I decided on to decorate my new A5 Burnt Orange uh, Filofax Original, which I got for my birthday, which is right here. Um, I'm going to be using this for Halloween and for fall. I really love this. My husband bought it for my birthday and I am totally in love with it. Um, to decorate this, I picked this collection here that's from My Mind's Eye. It's called Something Wicked. I really, really liked it. I went through a lot of the different available collections for this year and there wasn't anything that really stood out to me until I saw this collection. And I figured the colors are going to complement this really, really well for Halloween. So I'm really excited about that. This ephemera pack is awesome. It's totally loaded and it has a lot of awesome different um, images in it. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to be creating my own dashboards. I'm going to be also creating my own dividers as well as a shaker pocket for the front of it. So I'm going to be doing everything myself and I wanted to have the right stuff for that. Okay, so that was the first thing. 
Then also from the uh, same collection, Something Wicked, I got these enamel dots because I thought they were really, really pretty. Look how cute and shiny they are. I really like those. I picked up these Something Wicked stickers. I really like these a lot. These really um, got my attention. And they're actually so much prettier in real life because I didn't realize they had glitter on them. So I'm not sure if you can see, but the little witch and the mustache are glitter. Look how cute these are. And I love these type of stickers. Those are really, really fun. Can't wait to use those. Okay, I also purchased these, which are the glitter uh, alpha stickers for the collection. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use these. It looks like the glitter is really loose on these, so it just depends. It just depends if I'm gonna seal it or um, use a laminator, it may not be a problem. Then I picked out a couple of sheets of paper for my dividers, and I wasn't sure what to go with. I didn't buy the whole paper collection, but I picked these and I love this one because it is glitter and it is the white and black stripes. And then on the other side is probably my favorite, which is the black cats. I really love black cats. I own a black cat and I am a crazy cat person. So this paper is perfect for me. <laughs> Okay, the next one is this with the writing on it. I love this sheet, it is gorgeous. And I love that some of the bats are glittered. Look at the star here, that's also glittered. I just love this, this is so pretty. And then the reverse side is black and white striped. So that is really, really pretty. Okay, the other sheet that I chose was the black um, polka dots on orange that's really classic Halloween so I like that and then the reverse side is really super cute it is skulls with little orange glasses and I like everything with glasses on it because I do wear them and I thought that was great and they're all marked something wicked so it's a great collection I absolutely fell in love with it when I was searching for my Halloween pattern and then this one here is also from the collection and I like it because it says trick or treat over and over again. Really pretty. And then this part on the reverse side. I'll probably be using the trick or treat because I just really, really like it. Okay, next I just got a solid sheet of black. I don't have a lot of black cardstock and they were having a clearance that was like 40 cents for a solid sheet like this so I just grabbed it so I had it in case I didn't get a chance to get to the store and this is a cream colored one which is great because it goes with the rest of the papers this is also from something wicked I got this pattern as well which is the small polka dot love that and then this is really pretty which is um, the plaid and I love it because they've incorporated a little bit of glitter if you can see right here you have the glitter stripes I'm loving that this was probably my favorite pattern that I saw and I just love this I just figured it'd be really cute to place certain things in each one of these I may use this for my shaker pocket and uh, put shaker pieces of uh, sequence in each one of the squares I don't really know how I'm going to use it yet and then this skull on the other side, and this is cute because it does have the mustache that has glitter on it. But like I said, this is the pattern that I'm most likely going to use because I love it. And then this is not from the collection. This is separate. It's an acetate piece. It's from We Are uh, Memory, and it is American Crafts, actually. And I love it because it is black and stripe on acetate it is silver on the other side but you can tell that's the reverse side of the sheet i just figured um halloween always makes me think of black stripes so that is everything that i got for halloween i know i placed another order online for other stuff and i know i didn't get all the pieces from something wicked but it's possible that i have stuff in those other boxes i'm not sure until i look Okay, then the next collection I purchased was for the fall. This washi tape goes with that. I think it's really pretty and it is classic fall. I felt that these colors also matched back 
to the burnt orange really, really well. And this collection is from Echo Park and it is the Story of Fall. And I love it. I got the chipboard accent pieces. They are really pretty. I love this one here that says pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's just really gorgeous colors. This fox is really adorable. I picked up the matching ephemera pack. I always have to have ephemera. I am addicted to it. It's just crazy how much I love ephemera. And this one here is just a random one. It's actually the story of our family. It does not go with this collection, but I do not own it. And I wanted to have it for my collection of ephemera. So I bought that separately. Then I did buy the Story of Fall paper collection because I wanted, I could not decide on the papers in this collection. So I wanted to have all of them. <laughs> and then this comes with the sticker sheets and the four by six project life cards and the three by four. And I'm really, really happy with picking up this collection. And here are the stickers on this side and look at how gorgeous they are. They are so pretty. Um, I also like the way there's this light blue incorporated into this. So I'm really loving this. I did pick up an extra sheet of the three by four cards. I do do Project Life, so I like to have extra of them. I picked up an extra sheet of this color because I thought it was really pretty and tied back to the planner really well. This brown one as well. The other side is another rusty color. It's a little different from this. I know it's hard to tell on my camera, but one has a reddish color, one has an orange color. I got another extra of the four by six, and I loved this wood grain on the back. I figured I'd be using these for Project Life possibly, or for my planner, but I also wanted to have this wood grain, so I wanna have an extra of that. And then this one here that's just solid color, I thought both colors were really pretty. So I purchased all of that from A Cherry on Top. Um, as far as my planner goes, I am hoping to do fall, Thanksgiving, and Halloween in this one planner. Okay, this is my next package, and I believe this one here is from um, scrapbook.com. And I'm just going to pull this out and see. I did purchase some extra stuff that I wanted from the Something Wicked collection. I ended up getting the washi tape because I did not get that when I placed my original order with cherry on top. So I wanted to definitely add the washi tape. So I'm really excited about that. I also picked up these two washi tapes. One of them is um, Doodlebug's washi tape, but I just thought it was so pretty for the fall. And the other one is Echo Park. And this one I thought was pretty too with the leaves and the acorns. I think it will tie back very nicely to all the fall items. Okay, I also picked up the flare buttons from Something Wicked. Um, they just moved around in the package a little bit, but there's nothing wrong with them. I figured they would be really cute to make um, paper clips with. So I picked that up as well. And then I did pick up the four by six, um, I'm sorry, the six by six designer paper pad for something wicked. Even though I have the larger papers, I wanna also have the smaller papers because the patterns are smaller on this than they are on the larger papers. And I just thought they would complement each other really well. So those are the different patterns. I'm really glad that I did this. And I did the same with the Story of Fall. Even though I have the larger 12 by 12 pattern papers, I wanted the smaller ones as well. So that was everything from scrapbook.com. My next box is from Ellen Hudson. It's also a scrapbook store online. I don't think I purchased a lot from her, but there were a couple of things that I did want. And the first thing that I picked up to make my shaker dashboard 
is the Tailored Expression, and this is Build a Scene sequence, and this is their Halloween, and I really, really like them. It is hard to see, but there are some awesome shapes in there. We have stars, and we have little ghosts. There's a lot of fun, fun sequins in there. So that's going to really be fun. And then the other thing that I want, um, that I picked up was the Tailored Expressions Halloween Confetti Die. And I thought those would be really cute as well to add in with the sequins to make my shaker card. So I am really happy with that. And that was everything guys. If you have any questions, just leave it below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.